Okay, real quick guys, I wanna talk about the difference between being a closer versus being blue pill, okay? Because there is a blatant, gigantic, big difference between being a closer versus being blue pill. Okay, as we stand out here, looking at my DeLorean here, taking it out, it's been a nice day, so took it for a drive today. It's looking gorgeous, had it, uh, cleaned up today so it's real nice and shiny and uh, looking how a DeLorean stainless steel DeLorean should look right uh, but I wanted to bang out this quick coaching video because it's a question that I've gotten a lot uh, especially from guys who are confused guys who are part of the manosphere they're like hey you did all this stuff to get this one girl you know I know she's super hot I know she's a dime piece but isn't that being a little blue pill it's like dude you must understand the difference between being a closer versus being blue pill. And the thing about being a professional pickup artist, which I am, I've been teaching now since the 90s. I still take guys out for boot camps. It's been almost three decades now. I'm still out there plugging away, still doing it. Thing about, I mean, not only just picking up girls, but just life in general, you have to be a closer, okay? Do you know how I got this car? This car is, I mean, this is a $60,000 DeLorean. You know, if you don't believe me, look through some of my older videos on uh, my Alpha Male Secrets channel, right? I post a lot of videos how I bought this car, documenting the entire process, how much I paid for it, everything else, going to the bank, getting the cashier's check, all that $60,000 DeLorean. You don't get these type of cars. Also, I have a 65 Corvette too, by the way, okay? And I've owned Ferraris and other exotic cars as well. I live in a million dollar neighborhood. I mean, I'm a successful guy, put it that way. I did not get there by not being a closer, okay? You must be a closer. To think otherwise is just purely naive and it's part of coping, right? If you're gonna sit here and go, okay, so I wanna start this business that is going to do seven figures, right? Start this million dollar business, but I don't wanna have to kiss anybody's ass. I don't wanna have to like try that hard. Okay, I don't want to have to try that hard. You're not going to get shit in life, son. You're not, okay? Even getting my corporate job, my six-figure corporate job, way back when in the early 2000s, I had to pull a lot of strings to get that job, man. You know, was I being blue pill? Was I, you know, no, I'm a closer. I get things done. Again, this is how I got the lifestyle that I did. This is how I achieved success in life. Not only financially, not only lifestyle, uh, but also with women. I'm a closer. That's how I get these hot women. Some of you guys are like, how are you still getting these girls? I ran into a former hater. He Now he loves my stuff. But a former hater who admittedly said that uh, he was dropping a lot of hate comments on, you know, a lot of my topics. Didn't like them. Thought it was BS. And then I ran into this guy. He was at a Whole Foods that I happen to be at because I go to Whole Foods a lot. I was at a Whole Foods and I was there with my girl. And this guy, well... First of all, he approaches me and he was like, hey, you're on YouTube, huh? And I'm like, yeah. And he was like, oh. And he was about to say something snotty. And then up from behind came my girl, right? And he saw her and you could just see this guy's like eyes just peel back into his head. And he was like, are you his girlfriend? And then she was like, yeah, right? She like went in his face, she's like, yeah. And then, you know, smelling like super good. She was smelling really good that day. And then he got a whiff of like how, like her perfume and he was like, right? And he was like, how long have you guys been dating? And then she was like, is that your business? He was like, it's not your business, but anyway, like a year. And then he was like, wow, you know? Um, and then she went back in line. Then he was like, dude, I was totally about to hate on you, but shit, you're for real, man. And he was like, literally turned into a fan in that like split second. He was like, you're for real. And he was like, how old are you? And I told him, and then he was like, how old is she? I'm like 21. And he was like, man, he was like, where did you meet her? And I'm like, out, day game. And he was like, serious? And I'm like, yeah every chick who became my girlfriend I've met through cold approach pickup I have never met a single girlfriend that I've had through a social circle through a school function to anything like that okay I've never it's always been through cold approach even my college girlfriend I've met her through cold approach I saw her on campus had no classes together I cold approach that chick right high school girlfriend same thing 
right? I cold approached that chick. She was working at a Burger King. And uh, I remember I saw her in there. And then I started going that Burger King a lot. And uh, got to know her, got to talk to her, finally got her out with me. She became my girlfriend. Even this guy was like, dude, he was like, so you could get a girl like this? It's possible? I'm like, yeah, it's possible. But you can't be a little bitch about it. You got to deal with the fact that these chicks are going to shit test you. You got to deal with the fact that, hey, you're going to come across a lot of bad apples out there. You're going to come across some chicks who flake on you. You're going to come across, you know, like anything in life. Even if you're trying to get rich. You know how many businesses I started that failed? Imagine if I just said, oh, screw this, it's all a scam. It's all a scam. And even while I was building these businesses, I had people going, don't do that, man. It's a scam. That thing's a scam. Don't even try it. Don't put your, no, it's a scam. And I did it anyway, because I'm like, well, I'm going to find out for myself. There's probably some value I could get from it, even if it is a scam. It, let me see. Even the ones that were a little unscrupulous, I was able to take ideas from it and use it in my own business you know, take ideas from it and use it in my own game. I was like, oh, that's brilliant, you know? But put value behind it, make it work. Obviously not sell something without value because at the end of the day, everything comes down to value exchange, right? And really communicating that value to your prospect, to your customer, to the girl, to where they get it, they understand it. And they're like, okay, I think I'm gonna buy this. That's all that is, okay? Business, life, dating, it's all the same across across the board okay it's transcendental all the same it's all about exchange of value and at no point should you consider yourself blue pill or a little bitch because you are a closer okay because closing takes balls it takes balls right making business deals happen it takes balls, right? When I used to work for this Fortune 100 company, the reason why I was making six figures, only working 15 hours a week, driving a top-down Mercedes, while all the people I went to school with were digging ditches and doing construction and stuff like that, the reason why is because I'm a closer. I'm a closer, right? It's not that I was smarter than them, because a lot of those dudes that I grew up with we're getting straight A's, B's, right? They were getting good grades. I wasn't, I wasn't good in the classroom, I'll admit that. I just wasn't interested. I've always said, uh, I like learning, I just didn't like school. That's my quote about my scholastic career. I like learning, I just didn't like school. Except for like the dances and all the like recreational activities and <laughs> sports and stuff like that. I didn't like the aspect of going to class and sitting there and looking at the clock tick, tick until it would be over like each class of like looking up the clocks I still have nightmares of that but the reason why I was able to achieve success in my own life is because I'm a closer as you need to be too and it doesn't mean you're blue pill if you're out there closing big difference okay big difference I don't like to feature like girlfriends on my social media anymore just because I've done it in the past and a few of these girls have had like ended up getting stalkers and then of course like I have dumb haters who end up like messaging them and stuff like that so I try to protect their identity these days I mean as well as even girls I date casually I don't like featuring them just because of the negative moronic experiences that we've had in the past um, especially as my YouTube channel has grown but if you were to see this girl that this hater who's now one of my loyal followers um, if you saw the girl that I was with at Whole Foods which just happened not that long ago it's pretty recent you would be like okay so she shit tested you a little bit she flaked on the first two dates and then she like totally like turned and started falling for you I'll put up with that to get this chick as I teach you guys everything is a shit test you can't take these things personal once you take these things personal especially from women or any other aspect of life, business, any type of failure you're, you're dealing with, um, you've lost, okay? Once you don't have the self-efficacy to pick yourself back um, and dust yourself off and you let this person or something or someone get inside your head and make you believe that the system is rigged, it's all a scam. You could never get this type of woman. You could never get this type of car. You could never get this type of lifestyle. You could never make it out there. It's all a scam. Once you adopt that type of mindset, you're screwed. You are screwed. And you're going to have guys like me run in circles around you. Run in circles around you like you're standing still. Then you'll really feel like a little bitch. 
And once your life is over, you're 85, 90 years old, you're laying in your deathbed, can't move anymore, you're gonna look back going, what the F did I do when I had energy, when I had youth and energy, I pissed it away. I pissed it away because I thought it was all scam. And I thought like putting in work making me blue pill. No, it doesn't. Big difference between being a closer versus being blue pill. Okay, because when I approach these girls and I bring them to the point of closing, believe me, it's done through red pill knowledge. I know what to do and what not to do. The thing is, because I, I've been teaching pickup and game for so long, because I have game, I'm able to calibrate, okay? I'm able to calibrate. I know when to push, when to pull, okay? And that's something you learn through just years of experience, years of just plugging away and not quitting because all these chicks are bitches. Once you take that attitude, you've lost. You know, because even this chick that I was with, I mean, it's like, she's a cool girl. She's got her crap together. She's got her life together. She was being a little rude to this guy, this hater guy, just because we've come across a few while we're out, while we're at dinner, and they've said snotty things. And she's like literally jumped up and been like, hey, we don't know you, shut up. I mean, 99% of the people that I've seen and that have recognized me from YouTube have always been positive and hey, I'm, you know, and take pictures. And she's always been like a sweetheart to those guys. Um, but it's just like the snotty haters that have come along because she's a hot girl and she's calibrated. She can spot idiots like miles away, even before I can, right? I just assume everybody loves me. Big difference between being a closer versus being blue pill. So if you're going after a chick and one of your, you know, one of your uh, buddies tries to shame you like, hey man, you're putting in too, too much work, it's blue pill. It's not, dude. I mean, if you're trying to close, you're trying to close. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? Does it mean to supplicate to the girl, to validate her, to pedestalize her or anything like that? Of course not, of course not. Now that is being blue pill. Okay, doing all that blue pill matrix type crap, yes, that is being blue pill. You know, bringing her flowers, trying to buy your way into her life, you know, paying for all of her dinners, buying her gifts, taking her on free vacations, paying her rent. Yeah, hey, that's blue pill. That's not closing, okay? So big difference. That is not closing. That is being blue pill. Okay, difference again between being a closer versus being blue pill. When I'm closing these girls, I'm not doing any of that stuff. I'm just being my unfiltered self. I'm putting her in her place when she steps out of line. I don't let her misbehave around me. I don't reward bad behavior. At the same time, I'm demonstrating clear intent that I want the girl that, hey, this is you and me. Right, I'm using all those tactics I teach you in Seven Months of Mastery, future adventure projections, DHVing, you know, certain gambits that I still use. Right, and eggs. Everything I teach you in Seven Months of Mastery, I still do, but there's no supplication, no ego validation going on. Um, there's none of this, oh, I can't live without you, it's nonsense. That, I mean, because when you come from that blue pill aspect, you can't close anyone. When you come from that needy, clingy, low value frame, you're not gonna be able to close anyone, okay? You won't, you won't be able to close business deals. You won't be able to like function to create a successful business even. I mean, you can't be that type of person, right? You can't, okay? But there is a huge, gigantic difference between being a closer versus being blue pill. And I get called out a lot um, on my channel for that whenever I post like, you know, photos or whatever on my Instagram, at Matt Cross Official, follow me. If I post at Matt Cross Official on Instagram, somebody will like every once in a while be like, hey, isn't that a bit blue pill approaching this girl? It's like, no dumbass, it's not. I'm a closer, I'm trying to get with this girl, right? Do you see me buying her roses? Do you see me handing over money? Do you see me like getting down on one knee? No. I'm high-fiving the girl. I'm making her feel good. We're exchanging value here, right? We're exchanging value. I'm letting her know who I am. I'm demonstrating my real personality. There is nothing blue pill about this, right? You're supposed to be going out there talking to the opposite sex. You know, when you're not, it leads to depression. It leads to anger. It leads to uh, social awkwardness. You're supposed to be engaging with attractive women, right? That's the spice of life. Do you need women? Of course not, right? But it just adds to the spice of life. When you get a burrito or you get chips, do you need salsa? No, but it adds to the spice, right? Do you need to put sour cream and avocado in that burrito? No, you don't, do you? 
but it adds to the taste. It adds to the flavor. It adds to the spice, right? That spice of life just makes things a little bit better, right? Don't need women to live, but makes things a little bit better, a little bit more fun, a little more interesting, especially when they smell like my girl. She just, she has like this very, very, very alluring smelling perfume. Can't describe it, but even my hater, I could tell he was like, like trying to sniffle up on my woman, man. Crazy. So until next time, I'm going to wrap up here. This is Matt Cross from Alpha Male Secrets signing out. Don't forget to smash that like button below. Also hit that notification bell right next to it so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on my YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, more importantly, guys, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Helps me out a ton when you guys subscribe, so please make sure you subscribe as well and share my coaching videos with other like-minded friends of yours so that we can reach other men and help other men too. Okay? So make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure your buddies subscribe as well. And if you want to support my work, my content, all of this high-value knowledge that I'm teaching you here, on my Alpha Male Secrets channel even further, the best way to do that is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I am hosting on a private platform away from YouTube. And the reason why I'm doing that is to protect my content from YouTube, protect them from demonetizing or deleting my channel completely, right? This is why I'm hosting my premium content on a private platform uh, to protect it. Uh, that way nobody could ever take us down because I'm actually paying for that platform. So if you want to become a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, uh, it's real easy to sign up. It's only one buck for the entire first month of premium coaching lessons from me, by the way. Only one dollar. And all you need to do to sign up is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you could get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video.